Two months after the Israelites left Egypt, they came to the Sinai Desert and decided to set up camp at the foot of Mount Sinai. There Moses decided to climb up the mountain to enter the presence of the Lord, as God had special instructions for him. God wanted to make sure that the hearts of the Israelites remained faithful. He gave Moses instructions to tell the Israelites to obey him and thereby always be under his guidance and protection. To this, the Israelites agreed. There, after their exodus out of Egypt, the Israelites journeyed for 40 years in the desert. They quickly forgot all the signs and wonders God had done. Their disobedience and complaints rose to new heights, and their hearts began to harden. There on the mountaintop, God wrote Ten Commandments that all Israel were to follow. He also instructed Moses in many other regulations and matters that would help him lead the people of Israel. If they obeyed these rules, God's blessing and protection would be with them. If they broke them, God's punishment would be upon them. These commandments were so special that God wrote them on two stone tablets. Moses spent a long time with God, and the Israelites started to wonder if Moses was ever coming back. With a lack of patience, these people demanded a false god that they could worship. Their wicked hearts forgot about God's providence. When God saw this, he told Moses to go back down the mountain and speak with the people. As Moses came down the mountain, he heard festivities and soon saw the golden calf statue. There the Israelites were, dancing and shouting before this false god. It was an atrocious sight to behold. God's own people, whom he so powerfully rescued only two months ago, turned their hearts from him and were worshipping a false idol. Moses was so angry that he threw the two stone tablets to the ground, smashing them to smithereens. How could these people be so ungrateful? How could they so quickly forget how God delivered them from the hands of the Egyptians? Moses went and stood between the people and shouted, Whoever is on the side of the Lord, come stand with me. All the sons of Levi came and stood by Moses. Then Moses gave them instructions to take their swords and kill the rest of the people. Their horrific idol worship had brought a terrible sin upon the people. That day, 3,000 Israelites died because of their wicked hearts and dreadful sin. And soon, God sent a terrible plague upon those that remained. Though God had to punish their disobedience, he still led them on the path to the promised land. His forgiveness and mercy still upheld the remaining Israelites.